This is exclusive. Obasanjo assaults and battled Labour Party spokesperson Arabambi, threatens to arrest jail aggrieved party members working against Peter Obi's presidency. This is a serious one. That means Obasanjo can't hide his support for Peter Obi anymore. Okay? He needs to show them that look, we really need to be serious with this business. Peter Obi is the next president and people should mind the activities that will have negative effect on this plan. It will not be tolerated. It will not be tolerated. I think this is a very nice one coming from Basanjo at this point. Basanjo is a strong supporter of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. A former Nigerian president, uh, Lutegun Basanjo, has been accused of physically assaulting the embattled acting national publicity secretary of Labour Party, Abayomi Arabambi, by kicking him. Can you imagine? Basanjo is a strong supporter of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. The Ogun State chapter of the party has been engulfed in crisis since 2022. Yeah. So some members of the party led by Arabambi has expressed their displeasure over the conduct of some officials at the national headquarters. They also suspended the membership of Dain Okupe, former director general of the presidential campaign council of the Labour Party, who they said ceased to be a member of the party having failed to pay his membership dues for six months as prescribed by the constitution. The aggrieved party executives also demanded the immediate dissolution of the entire party's presidential campaign council over alleged lopsidedness in its composition, stressing that the composition of its PCC does not reflect the federal character, unlike what is contained in the constitution of the party. Although the party at the national headquarters earlier called their bluff, Arabambi further raised allegations of corruption against the national chairman Julius Abure. Hmm. He accused Abure of obtaining money under false pretenses and defrauding candidates and aspirants who obtained nomination form to contest under the party. It was gathered that members of the Ogun Ketika Committee and some aggrieved members dissolved. Uh, members of the Executive Council led by Rebambi met with Abbasanjo at his residence on Wednesday afternoon. Now, during the meeting, the former president kicked the embattled Labour Party spokesperson and ordered him to withdraw all petitions and court cases. Multiple sources at the, uh, at the meeting told the Sahara reporter the same thing. Rebambi had petitioned the police and anti graft agencies to investigate allegations of fraud and money laundering involving the party chairman Abure in Enugu, Ebo, Edo, and some other states. The select the select uh, Ketika committee uh, members and dissolved ESCO uh, met with Chief Obasanjo yesterday, and after both sides presented their cases, Obasanjo lambasted Arabambi and his cohorts that they should respect party supremacy. A member of the party at the meeting held in Abekuta told Sarah reporters again. He went further to warn Arabambi that if he doesn't cooperate with the technical committee, he will get him arrested. Obasanjo even kicked Arabambi during the meeting. The meeting was held at Obasanjo's house yesterday and he was blunt with him and asked him and others to withdraw all petitions or get arrested because of phobia. He said that even if the Labour Party chairman killed someone, this is not the time to complain. That is true. Hmm. Sarah reporters learned that Obasanjo wants all the corruption allegations and other ugly issues tarnishing the image of the party to be suspended till after the election as he doesn't want anything to be used to jeopardize obese chances. And when Sarah reporters called the State Critical Committee Chairman Lukman Jagun, who was in the meeting on the phone, he said he was in the meeting at the time. He told a reporter to send a text. However, he failed to reply to the message hours after it was sent to him. He disconnected um, subsequent calls made by Sarah reporters. Can you imagine? So, in the and Beast petition, in a petition by Arab and Beast lawyer to the Labour Party leadership, the embattled party spokesperson said the chairman abused and used his office to 
corruptly enrich himself by obtaining money uh, under false pretenses from candidates. Can you imagine? The petition reads, we write this petition against the national chairman over the allegation of obtaining money under pretext and defrauding of candidates and aspirants who obtain the nomination forms to contest under our great party. The office of our client has been inundated with complaints and reports from candidates of the party who claim that they have been defrauded by the national chairman. The complainants informed our clients that they are ready to come forward and give evidence with documentary proof. Now, one of the candidates, Honorable George Gabriel Chiadikobi, whose name was submitted to INEC as a party candidate for Lagos West Senatorial District, informed our client that on the 22nd day of August 2022, paid the sum of 2.5 million to Labour Party account number. This is domiciled with UBA for nominations into Senate uh, Lagos West through a Sunday Ajayi. Also, Umade Emmanuel Azubike, whose name was submitted to INEC as the party candidate for House of Representatives, Amu Ward of a federal constituency, uh, Lagos State, informed our client that on the 20th day of July 2022, paid the sum of 3 million uh, naira and also another paid 1 million naira only on the 16th day of August 2022. To the Lagos State Labour Party account number. This 1122487121298, domicile with Zenith Bank, also at various times, over 27 million uh, naira have been paid to Barrister Julius Abure through other members of the party, including Comrade Joseph Indirang and others that will form the witness team against him. Can you imagine? Despite all the intrigues and delay that he claimed his nomination suffered, he met with the national chairman, Barrister Julius Abure in Abuja, who directed the national police secretary, our client, to uh, effect immediately the name of our candidates in the list of substitution submitted to INEC. Honorable George reported to our client that he was asked by national chairman not to deposit the balance of 2.5 million meant for the party nomination form into party official account uba but rather to pay the money into the national chairman's transport business account number this is his account number uh, ever ready transport services limited domicile with access bank which he did it was after the above payment into the national chairman's personal account contrary to the party's constitution that he instructed the national legal advisor to commence a fresh action at the federal high court lagos uh, where honorable george was listed as the candidate for lagos west senatorial district hmm. honorable george later informed me uh, that to his surprise the national chairman wrote a letter that the matter currently ongoing in the federal high court lagos uh, be withdrawn and discontinued which will ultimately jeopardize the listing of his name as the Lagos West Senatorial candidate. Other candidates of our party whose names were submitted for the Federal House of Representatives from various federal constituencies in Lagos also made similar allegations and reported to me that they have paid various sums uh, meant for the party into the personal account of the national chairman based on his instructions. Our client has also paid several millions of naira to the national chairman which we have we have the evidence of transfer there is no doubt that the national chairman barrister julius Abure has abused his office and used his office to corruptly enrich himself by obtaining money under false pretense from the candidates of our party these complainants are ready to provide evidence of those payments when the time arises can you imagine are you sure he instructed or they were previewed to have his account number and decided to use it uh, straight up okay because that is what some people can do they can just if they are privileged to have his account number they will just do all the deposit so that they will say they will bring the proof of payment but what and what transpired before the payment were made nobody will talk about that 
this development has brought shame to the party and is the major reason for the ongoing internal crisis currently facing the party in Lagos State. As the National Publicity Secretary and image maker of the party, our client owes it to the great party as a duty to report this allegation as it is capable of imploding the party and distracting our focus for the 23 general elections unless it is investigated and resolved immediately. We want you to use your good office to investigate this fraudulent action against Barista Julius Aburi for the interest of our great party. Our client is available to provide further details on this. Last December, Arab B also asked the Director General of the PTRB Presidential Campaign Council, Professor Akin Oshintokun, to resign from his position following his appointment. Sahar reporters have reported how the former Director General of the OBIP, Obidati Campaign Organization, Doi Nukupe, stepped down from the, from the position. The decision was connected to his conviction for money laundering at the Federal High Court in Abuja for two years with an option of a fine. Following uh, Dr. Doyin Okupe's resignation as campaign director general, the Obidati uh, Ahmed campaign organization named Oshitoko, a former political advisor to President Lushik Nobasanyo, as a new DG of the Labour Party campaign organization. Hmm. Oshitoku, former managing director of the news agency of Nigeria, okay, served as political advisor to Obasanjo and as a director of the presidential campaign of the People's Democratic, Democratic Party, PDP, in 2011. Oh, God. Reacting to Oshitoku's appointment, Arab B in a statement opposed Oshitoku's appointment, saying he was also a member of Zenith Labour Party. Can you imagine? So Arab B has said, in my capacity as the National Policy Secretary of Labour Party, I am opposing the announcement of Professor Akin Oshintoku as the DG Labour Party uh, Labour Party campaign organization because at present he is the senatorial candidate of Zenith Labour Party Equity State. And in the February 25, uh, 2023 election, National Assembly election, the National Chairman Barrister Julius Aburi, by this treacherous act, has compromised the victory of Labour Party, and this political rascality will not stand. I am therefore calling on Professor Akin Oshitoko to resign as the DG Labour Party campaign organization with immediate effect or face court action within the next five days, he added. Can you imagine? This was serious, so. okay? So, so this is uh, Arab Ambi's petition to get uh, his uh, justice, uh, you know, over what has been transpiring in uh, in Labour Party. So, one comment here: Obasanjo wanted to package nonsense for us as sense. He wanted to package corruption for us as co- in corruption. He's working hard to sell fake milk, Obipita, for us as genuine one. But one thing is, it's too late because um, Ashwaju has led so others much follow. Okay, so others must follow. Okay, let the two Baba Abbasanjo and Adebanjo, okay, wait till 2030. If God still preserve their life, by then we can think on considering their request. Can you imagine? Tinubu has no brain and you are confused with your live voting uh wrong person with your life voting wrong person i saw another person's comment there somebody say you don't feel already okay so that is this thing that is what is happening here uh labor party and how obasanjo and battled uh, that arab and of a person because uh, that same Lagos state and ugu state have been causing problem in labor party all along and they need to be called to order if there's issue in Labour Party, that issue should be resolved later and let's concentrate on the election and win it first. After all that internal fracas will be settled. But know that election is approaching just less than two weeks or thereabout. You are you are making court case and causing confusion. I'm sure that is about just anger for hitting him or kicking him or telling him you threaten him, you will arrest him. Because this is not the time to make case. Election is around the corner. Win the election first. Then after all the internal crisis will be resolved. There's nothing that cannot be settled. 
Okay. I think the thing there is that some of these people, some of these elements have been infiltrated by opposition party uh, like PDP and APC to cause confusion to disorganize the party. I will not be surprised that some of them in Labour Party are working for APC, while some are also working for PDP to cause confusion in the party. I will not be surprised. So uh, that is what is happening in Labour Party. That was Obasanjo's reaction when Arabambi uh, led his team to meet Obasanjo in his house to intervene in this matter. Thank you for listening and let's have a comment.